Hello again, this is Automotive Territory. When one achieves near excellence in a certain field, there is always a need for a new challenge. This is the story of some car manufacturers with loud names, who decided that since their car products are doing pretty well, why not try out themselves in designing or building something new and extraordinary, like power boats and luxury yachts, for example. In today's episode, we'll take a look at how successful they are in the unknown field and what beautiful watercraft emerge from this endeavor. Get ready to see BMW, Mercedes, Toyota and many other boats from your favorite car makers. But hold on a second, a quick rain check to make sure that you're subscribed to our channel not to miss any of the new episodes. Enjoy the cruise! Lexus Sports Yacht In order to boost Lexus' image of a luxury brand, the company has decided to enter the exclusive business of yacht making. Their first shot at success is a mighty 42-foot-long powerboat developed by Lexus Marine Department in cooperation with US-based Marquis Carver Yacht Group. She's capable of carrying 6 to 8 passengers for short one-day sea trips. The source of boat's power is twin 5.0-liter Lexus V8 engines with combined 885 horsepower output. This is enough to propel the vessel forward at the speed reaching 49 miles per hour. The captain controls the boat using a large touchscreen and is aided by a surface radar and underwater sonar. Notably, Lexus is not going to stop here and has already announced its plans to start production of a larger 65-foot-long yacht capable of carrying 15 people and will go on sale in 2019. Boats from Mercedes-AMG and Cigarette Racing the cooperation between the German automaker Mercedes and the Florida US-based custom boat builder cigarette racing team has lasted for more than a decade now, and the companies managed to produce numerous beautiful speedboats together. Among their latest projects, we should point out the 50-foot Marauder AMG boat inspired by the breathtaking Mercedes AMG GTR, 50-foot AMG GTS, and the most recent 515 Project 1 to promote the upcoming two-seater hypercar from Mercedes. Just like their automobile counterparts, these vessels are engineered for the ultimate performance. For the body, the designers use highly optimized composite structure, consisting of carbon fiber, Kevlar and e-glass, and the boats are usually powered by a pair of mighty Mercury Racing 1550 engines and M8 stern drives, delivering up to 3100 horsepower, which transfers to 140 miles per hour top speed. These sea vessels can carry 5 to 6 people, and the MG tailored sports interiors will let anyone immerse into the amazing world of speedboating. Porsche Dynamic GTT 115 The Monaco-based company Dynamic has joined forces with the world-famous studio FA Porsche to create an exclusive 115-feet all-aluminum superyacht GTT 115, where GTT stands for Gran Turismo Transatlantic. The naval architecture of the megaboat was developed by Ripek, and the powertrain is represented by twin 1,627-horsepower strong man V12 diesel engines combined with Forge's 5000 propulsion system. Moreover, for additional $100,000, a hybrid power system is available, with two Fisher Panda variable speed generators located in the bow. Austrian designers from Porsche worked exclusively on the exterior and interior, aiming at taking the spirit of high-performance sports car styling to the seas. The Dynamic GTT 115 is available in signature Porsche body colors, and the interior is reminiscent of 991R and Mission E models. The first yacht is already under construction in Italy, with six more units scheduled for the production. Brabus Shadow 800 if you're a fan of Brabus tuned vehicles and your garage already has the full collection, you should consider reserving a spot at the marina for a brand new Brabus Shadow 800 boat. This vessel was designed and built by the collaborative efforts of the German auto tuner and the Finnish boat designer Exopar Boats Oi. She is based on the Exopar's 37 Sun Top model, which measures 37 feet in length and can carry 10 to 12 passengers. Power is delivered by two 2.7-liter inline-six cylinder Mercury Verado 400R engines with combined output of 800 horses, effectively pushing the shadow through the sea blue at the speed of 57 miles per hour or 50 knots. Brabus input includes abundantly decorated interior, rich technology package, and the latest entertainment systems. Only 20 units are planned for production. 
However, good news is that both companies seem to be eager to continue their collaboration in the future. Toyota Ponem 31 Well known for manufacturing the safest and most reliable automobiles on the market, surprisingly Toyota also excels at boat building. The company first embarked on this course in 1997, and in 2014 it even created a whole new class of motorboats, called Sports Utility Cruiser. Its first representative was Toyota Ponem 31, a sporty and compact vessel with two diesel engines and a total output of 512 horses. The watercraft uses several safety technologies, including the Toyota Drive Assist and the Toyota Virtual Anchor, that were adapted from Toyota's automobiles. The boat's hull is made from strengthened aluminum alloy that reduces the sound of waves. Inside, the cabin is user-friendly and comfortable. She has a transformer sofa and a counter. The watercraft is sold through 49 Japanese dealers for the starting price of $280,000, with 15 units produced annually. If you're still with us, then you must have some interest in boating and various watercraft. So how about checking out an episode about pretty strange water vessels that exist today? We're gonna leave a link for you in the description and the end screen. Let's keep rolling! Mercedes-Benz Aero 460 Gran Turismo Smaller than a regular million-dollar yacht, this water vehicle for Mercedes makes up for its size in terms of performance, design and cabin luxury. Combining the most recent innovations from the boat industry and the classic look of the company's 1930s race cars, the 960-horsepower yacht is nicknamed the Silver Arrow of the Sea for the might, style and the top speed of 46 miles per hour. She easily accommodates 10 passengers and due to the crossover design is suitable for sleepovers on board and day-long trips. The cabin has a large sitting room, a pantry with a fridge, a sink, an ice maker and a wine storage, and a bathroom with a shower and a toilet. The main room has extendable beds and tables that are performed in the finest eucalyptus wood and quality textiles, high-tech infotainment system and air conditioning. The windows are retractable and the windshield can be opened hydraulically, allowing passengers to enjoy summer breeze. BMW 507 Originally built in 1950s, the speedboat was based on the BMW 507 produced between 1956 and 1959. Though this car is a very rare roadster as only 252 units were sold, the 507 boat beats it to the punch as only one lived to see the 21st century. Built as a joint project of BMW and Rambeck, one of the oldest boat builders in Bavaria, this watercraft received an aluminum alloy 3.2-liter OHV V8 from BMW that produced 150 horses, two Zenith carburetors and a chain-driven oil pump. In 2014, she was found by a German classic car enthusiast, Felipe Garcia, who reached out to BMW experts and fully restored the boat to her original condition. She was repainted and fitted with new upholstery, her hull was restored and the instrument panel repaired. In addition, the team managed to preserve the emblem, the steering wheel and a plaque recognizing the joint project. Maserati Multi 70 The cooperation between carmaker Maserati and ocean racer Giovanni Saldini and his team has started with a VOR 70 yacht in 2013 and was followed up three years later by a new triple hull sporting chapter. The Maserati Multi 70 is a new generation MOD 70 ocean going trimaran that can glide across the vast ocean blue at the speed of up to 46 miles per hour or 40 knots. The vessel stretches 70 feet in length and 53 in the beam, sporting a 95 foot rotating mast and a 6.3 tons displacement. Moreover, she rises up out of the water and the foils for increased stability and better performance. The Trimaran and her team have already successfully participated in many competitions, winning medals and setting up new records. Aston Martin AM37 The luxury British car manufacturer Aston Martin entered the nautical world in 2017 when they delivered the first models of AM37 day cruisers to the customers. This boat was co-designed by the same people who worked on such masterpieces of the car world as 177, Aston Martin Vulcan and DB11. AM37 is 37 feet long, hence the name, and comes in two modifications, standard and the more powerful S. The former is equipped with either two diesel or two gasoline mercury engines 
delivering 370 or 430 horsepower respectively, while the latter AM37S gets a 520 horsepower gasoline machine. This boat can travel at 52 to 58 miles per hour speed and gives you a new way of experiencing the sea. Motali by Infinity's Alfonso Albacea Even though Infinity has not yet managed to develop a car that will feel as comfortable in the water as on the road, this does not stop them from designing beautiful yachts. The senior vice president for global design, Alfonso Albicia, who has recently worked on Infinity Q60 and Prototype 9, presented a three-deck, 108-foot luxury ocean yacht named Motali. This is one of a kind project created for a Turkish customer with one major request, to make her look different from any other yacht when she docks in Monaco. That is why her design has distinguishable bullet-like aerodynamic shape and romantic tapering at the stern that tumbles inwards similar to the classic vessels of the 1950s. Even though Olbeja experienced some difficulty with this project due to its sheer scale, his childhood fascination with the ocean resulted in magnificent sea vessel. So would you say that car makers should stick to one thing that they're good at, or would you prefer more auto companies try their strength in boat making, hoping that they deliver some beautiful vessels? Share your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section. Watch more videos about watercraft on our channel. Links are on the screen. Subscribe, share and like. And as always, may the torque be with you!